week is the week of the finals of Come Dancing. We thought we should pay our own tribute to the grace and glamour of the dance. David Billinghurst lives in Ticehurst in East Sussex, and he told us... You may be interested in our lawnmower formation dancing team. We were. It turned out they consist of a builder, a sheep farmer, a stockbroker, and a nuclear physicist and four lawnmowers. And this week they were holding their finals, so Gavin went to Ticehurst to meet David and find out from him how this kind of lawnmower ballroom dancing was invented. The idea began, I think, four or five years ago, and I got very fed up with mowing the lawn. I thought if only I could have some more people to help me, I'd get it done much quicker. And I just, when I was mowing the lawn in a black mood, I just envisaged having people either side of me, and I thought when we got down to the end, what on earth would we do? And I slowly developed it from there. David, what are the dangers? I think clipped feet, trapped trouser legs, and blown engines can be very dangerous. Mm. What about the steps or the technique? The technique, uh, we worked out. Uh, and it took us quite a long time. And the, the main problem with this sort of dancing is that with the motor mowers going, you cannot hear the music. So what we do, we have somebody to lead us in, and then we have a stopwatch going, and all the movements are done purely from a timing point of view. And as long as we get it right within two or three seconds and keep our fingers crossed, we should all come through at the end together. What's your ultimate aim, your ultimate ambition? Well, I suppose it's unlimited, isn't it? I mean, eventually we could be competing with the Royal Ballet at Covent Garden. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> if you were successful, how would you celebrate? I think a magnum of champagne. Any particular brand? I think uh, a little bit of Moet. <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome to what is one of the most exciting events in the dance calendar of 1984. Not just the dance calendar, but the calendar too of the turf, because we've come to Ticehurst to witness the Ticehurst formation team in action. You can see that they're preparing themselves behind me, and uh, the music will be supplied by Elgar. It's his land of hope and glory. suggested before is that of East Sussex. The hope is certainly in the eyes of the male members of the formation team and the glory in that of the visiting ladies. Hand cranking for this handsome ransom and Hugh Orchard knows her flywheel well. Born in 1955, a 29 year old beauty, only two strokes and a kick and she's away with Paddy McFarlane. Full start for a Suffolk punch and this 24-year-old stripling is happy in Laurie Buckingham's gloved hands. The youngest member has a heavy cast flywheel pull start, heavy in weight but four strokes and David Billinghurst takes her away in style. can only stand and gaze in wonderment as they move into diagonal corners, a sensational Ticer speciality. What judgment! And now for the return pass. It's a wise man who keeps his eyes closed. Everyone's here at the local hop. <laughs> man, woman and machine in perfect harmony. Have any mowers moved in formation with greater style? 
their parts polished to perfection, gay blades cutting more than a dash as they process and turn, their clutches eased for the big finish. That I'm ecstatic to say is all we have time for. nation on earth as we thought eminent men had practiced for four years to reach that and of course David Jacobs beautifully proving that it's turf at the top.